Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I haven't seen you guys for a long time. I haven't made a YouTube video in a long time because I kind of just decided to take a break from it. But I'm back and I'm back as a registered nurse and I finished West Coast University with my BSN. Okay, sorry guys, it's such a mess right now because a lot of things have happened and I just bought a house or a condo <laughs> with my fiance. I also got engaged and everything's a mess right now and I'm packing so that's why I decided to make a video. Today's video, I'm gonna be talking about my experience so far post graduating um, from West Coast University and how my experience has been so far and what I've thought about the program after completing it. So if that is something you guys are interested, stay watching. what has happened was let's just do like a whole 30 second recap I took the exit exam I passed the exit exam then after I passed the exit exam I graduated and during my last term last term yeah during my last term I actually ended up getting a job as a student nurse at Kaiser for being a part of their pandemic nursing staff because this was in january when a lot of the hospitals were hit with a big surge after the holidays and they were hiring so i got a job as a student nurse to work at kaiser which was great pay i'm currently still working there um so i got a job there i finished school so right when i finished i was making working at kaiser on the floor med surge with covid patients basically as a support staff for the nurses then after that, I took a while. It took me six weeks. Sorry, Louie's like barking over there. It took me six weeks to get my ATT. So while I was waiting for my ATT, I got was working at Kaiser and then I finally got my ATT. Now, something that happened was that the like they didn't need us anymore or they didn't need us as much. So they decided to end the program early and it was perfect because it ended right when I got my ATT and I had two weeks of study for the NCLEX and then we also bought a house, a condo um, during that time and then two weeks of studying with the NCLEX I used, oh my god, there's something in my eye. Had two weeks off when they ended the program a little bit earlier. I already planned a trip to Hawaii and took my NCLEX exam March 24th on a Wednesday, the day before I leave for Hawaii, closed that same day on our condo. Next day, left for Hawaii, Friday, found out my results, and funny story, oh man, I'm out of breath. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. Oh my god, there's something in my eye. 4 a.m. My mom was calling me on Friday because it's 7 a.m. over here back in L.A. And they're calling me. I wasn't answering because I was sleeping. It was 4 a.m. in Hawaii. Telling me that I passed because my mom looked me up on the BRN and saw that my name was there and I was a registered nurse. Yay! So dramatic. So I have this quick clip. Anna, I love you first already. Look at the picture I sent you. Come on, wake up. I saw. I saw. Hi, Anna. Congratulations. You're past the board. Okay, bye bye. Then I get an email to apply to, or an, if I was interested in working at the COVID vaccination sites or COVID drive throughs at Kaiser, filled out a form, and then I was set to start the week I get back from Hawaii. So, get back from Hawaii, I get assigned to a COVID drive through testing site where I work there. So that's where I'm currently right now. Um, it is very good pay as a new grad and it's not even a registered nurse. I work with a lot of nursing students um, and postgraduate nursing students. So that has been my update so far. And let's get to the first question for today. All right, so the first question is, was West Coast worth it? Okay, right now, I am currently, I currently do not have a 
new graduate position working in an acute setting. Right now I am still hired as a student nurse or RN traveler because I do have my license and it's not an actual like new graduate position on the floor doing registered nurse responsibilities. And I did apply to a couple places before I had my license and it was hard to get an interview because there are a lot of students who already have their license that are looking for jobs and so they basically take precedence over you because they already have their license and right now with the ATT taking a couple weeks they don't want to hire you and then you end up starting on the start date and you don't have your license so that is something that I'm sure that hospitals wouldn't want to take a risk of so there are a lot of students who are qualified with their um, licenses that are applying that took pre precedence over students who don't have their license and so I haven't gotten an interview I've honestly applied to maybe 10 places um, one new graduate program which is a tips program which I didn't get an interview for and that was this was back in February I didn't have my license I had a friend who applied for the same thing graduated in November of last year already has a license got an interview um, but unfortunately didn't get the position but was able to get into a new grad program somewhere else so the possibilities of you getting a job with after graduating is very high it's just hard because you have to wait to get your license and there are a lot of opportunities for you as a new graduate it's just people think that it's hard to get a job because it's hard to get into what you want into a new grad program but there are a lot of places hiring if you don't care about the pay and if you don't care about exactly where you're working so it depends on that so you can get into a new job or you can get a new graduate job if you don't really have a lot of requirements or expectations on like your list that you would want for me i'm very picky i want somewhere that's close to me and i want something that is a new graduate program and i want something that's paying more than what i make now um so that's a couple things that i take into consideration today it is may and so um a lot of the new grad programs are opening up at the end of this May, um, at the end of this month. So right now I did apply to UCLA's new graduate or training program. They opened up, the TIPS program's opening up again. Um, I think Cedar sinai is also opening up. A couple of hospitals are opening up their new graduate programs for the fall start. So that's where I'm going to start applying. So hopefully I can get a new grad position working in the hospital for getting acute experience. Now the second thing I wanted to talk about is... I saw a lot of people commenting on my stuff saying that they did like saying how they're complaining or just like kind of I felt like being judged for going to a school that is very expensive and how I'm gonna get how I have a lot of debt because of it but honestly this was my decision and I don't want to force you guys to take on such a big debt if you guys don't know what you are getting yourselves into I have a lot of people um, messaging me asking me like how am I gonna pay for it how am I gonna pay for it there are ways to pay for it and you have to find out what's gonna work best for you and I don't want people to just like oh I'm gonna do it because I did it and then it's gonna be like money that you're gonna end up paying off um, but it is an investment in yourself you know for me I just want to do what's best for me and I'm just here to share my experiences and answer questions and help you guys out but in no way that I would force this upon people like yeah just do this do that program so do what works best for you now from my experience I do work with other new graduate students but I'm gonna say that 95 6% like 98% of them all graduated with an ADN so they all have their registered licenses but they don't have their BSN I got my BSN um, and it is a lot more cheaper if you go that route if you go through a route of getting your ADN, then doing a dual program with your BSN. There are ways to do that. It's a lot more cheaper. But for me, I wanted to get it all one and done. And I didn't want to like wait for it, even though I'm not sure how long it took. Now, the issue that I've experienced with a lot of my coworkers who have an ADN degree is that even though they're licensed, applying to magnet hospitals and applying to really, really great hospitals is almost... It's very difficult to get into because the competitors that are applying for those... Wait, is it even recording? Oh, it is. The people applying for those positions are people who have their bachelor's in science. So they are honestly already above the... 
minimum requirements. And if you're looking at someone with a BSN versus an ADN, majority of the time, the hospitals are going to take someone with a BSN. And a lot of my coworkers who are looking for jobs right now, it's hard for them to find a job because a lot of the requirements say BSN or MSN preferred. To get into a hospital, I had a coworker who applied to a hospital, got an interview with them. She had her ADN that came up in the interview and unfortunately she didn't get the job um, because there were other people who were qualified, but she will be getting, or my coworker will be getting their degree at the end of this year and hopefully it'll be a lot more easier to get into a hospital that they would love to get into, a really great hospital. So a lot of the hospitals right now are trying to get magnet status. What magnet status means is that there's just certain things that they meet above and beyond the expectations for, meaning that these hospitals are high quality, they do a lot of their patient care experiences based on evidence-based data, a lot of their nurses are have their bachelors, and that is a requirement for a magnet recognized hospital is for the nurses to have their BSNs. And so if you're looking for something to hurry up and get your BSN, I strongly advise, I, I think that getting your BSN is the best thing that you do because even if you get your ADN, it doesn't matter. You still have to get your BSN. It's going to take a little longer, um, but it is a lot more cheaper. So that is something to consider. So that's why I think that having my BSN right now puts me at an advantage because I have coworkers who are still in school or have to get their BSN, which will take another year or so in order to get a job at a Q hospital that requires BSN. But there are hospitals that require or a lot of hospitals that take in nurses with their ADN, but I'm saying that majority of the time it's not going to be in a acute setting hospital or a very well-known hospital. It'll be smaller local community hospitals that you'll most likely get a job at. Which is also a good benefit because once you get your BSN, you could apply to other positions and then you already have one year acute experiences. So that's something to consider. So if you want to do that route, you can get your ADN, work a year, try to get a position at a hospital while working towards your BSN. You'll get benefits for tuition reimbursement if your job has that. Then once you get your BSN, boom, you could already apply. So that's another option. So whichever route is the best for you, whichever route you want to take, go ahead and do that for you. But that is my experience so far with BSN versus ADN at this moment now looking at you know how competitive it is to get a job at a really good hospital just a little quick thing okay last thing I wanted to go over was so do I think West Coast is worth it is it something that you would like to consider overall for me I'm happy with the education I received there I received a lot of support um, from the school to well the school honestly is really good at preparing you for the NCLEX when I took the NCLEX I had a couple classmates that finished it in 75 questions past the first time I when I took it a I had I had 88 questions and then I passed only took me an hour because I'm just someone who just I just when I take exams like once I see the answer that's just the answer I put I like just go with my gut I don't spend time like ruminating on the answers um was in there for an hour, 15 minutes, finished my exam, passed it, and thinking about how it went, it was very challenging, but I think that the way West Coast had us taking exams there was very similar to how the NCLEX was, and honestly, the way that West Coast tested me, it felt like it was a lot more harder, but they were able to provide me you know with the skill set on how to answer these types of questions and it just felt second nature to me because it's just you are so like how do you say it when you take exams at west coast it's very similar so it's just like the same thing like boom 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 every week you're gonna take an exam take an exam you have to do practice questions you have to do all this stuff they have this um, Vati Greenlight which prepared us and then I did UWorld so there was a lot of things that prepared me so for those two years the entire two years at West Coast that I was at they were preparing me for the NCLEX and I feel like they did a really good job at that if you spent all the time and effort if you did really good in your classes at the school then I'm sh passing the NCLEX is gonna be a breeze for you now was it worth the money was it worth the money um for me in my mindset again i just thought about it as an investment for myself to finish school right away by the time i would have finished a bsn i would have already been making the money that i am i could be at a better position in the by the time i would have graduated if i did the adn route but that's just my position you know for me 
debt is debt. I'm always going to have debt. I have a mortgage now. I have debt from buying all this furniture. You know, like there's always things that I'm going to be constantly paying for. But if you have you know your financial steps you know there's a lot of ways to be able to pay it off now how long it takes i don't know but you will end up paying those loans off or you may not end up paying those all off biden passes the, you know waiting on that we're what we're all waiting on that. but anyways i don't want to hear anything negative about that about comparing your education with mine i'm just here again to share my education for people who are interested in looking for doing this route instead but thank you guys again for supporting me and for watching my videos. I will be back um, once I kind of move into the new place. By the end of this month, we should be moved in. I'm ready to start making YouTube videos, videos again and starting on my journey on applying for nursing positions and how that process has been and what has worked and what not worked for me so far. Nothing has really worked for me. <laughs> I haven't really gotten a new graduate nurse um, interview because I haven't really been applying since I currently have a job right now. Um, so again, thank you guys for continuing to support me and watching my videos and I'm so excited to be back on here and I hope this like little reintroduction of what has happened in the past couple months have it's been interesting you guys. Thank you.